What's up my crypto legends, you must have heard by now that BlackRock, the biggest investment firm in the world holding over $10 trillion in assets, has applied for a spot Bitcoin ETF, a US first if approved. Now this could take several months, but this is a spot ETF. This needs to be backed by real Bitcoin. Now there's a lot of speculation that the price of Bitcoin is going to start moving to the upside aggressively in the coming weeks because of this. And there are some signs on the chart like this descending wedge, okay? The massive bounce at this major resistance level turning into support that we could go to much higher levels. However, we are hitting some resistance right now from this lower high resistance trend line. There's also big resistance at $27,200 that's going to explain in this episode. Of course, we'll be taking a look at the lower time frame, a little bit of Elliott Wave theory to take a look at those major levels for the next coming hours and days. So make sure to stay tuned tuned. Hi there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Sensors. Let's dive in here straight into the chart. There is a lot of excitement here the last few days because of BlackRock applying for this spot Bitcoin ETF, okay? Now, this is actually pretty bullish in my opinion, but till that is approved, it might take several months. It might not be approved, okay? So it's just a little bit of a speculation, a little bit of hype going on at the moment. It's not real for the moment. Overall, we are forming this descending wedge kind of pattern, which is usually a bullish pattern, okay? However, we need to understand that this is not a confirmed move to the upside, all right? We need to have a breakout with very large volume, okay? Well above $27,400 range where we do have this last lower high level. And that means that we could be seeing much higher levels in the next coming weeks and months. However, till that doesn't happen, we are still in a massive downtrend, guys, getting resistance here from the lower highs, as you can see. And right now, we are just a few hundred dollars away from hitting a huge level, which is a daily level. This is looking at the 12 hourly chart. If we do take a look at the daily chart, there is a nice daily level that hasn't been tapped right over here. And there is a large consolidation that we had the first week of June. As you can see, that is a major respected level in between 27,000 thousand two hundred and twenty seven thousand four hundred now a solid breakout above this twenty seven thousand four hundred dollar range with a nice daily close above it would be definitely a really bullish sign and i can show you with the lower time frames looking at the potential elliott wave theory structure that we could be forming okay in the lower time frames and get ready guys because the world series of trading is coming in the next coming weeks make sure to create your bybit account if you haven't done yet to join my team we were ranked 20 most of the competition for from last year out of 460 teams. There is a prize pool of $8 million. There's a Lamborghini, there's a Rolex, there's a massive prize pool for the top 10 teams, guys. We were ranked 20 most of the competition and we're gonna absolutely crush it this year, guys. So make sure to stay tuned to join my team in the next coming weeks. We can go to the four hourly time frame. okay? You can clearly see it right over here that we are not out of the woods yet as we do have the lower high resistance trend line from the wedge. There is a major level here of resistance from the first week of June, getting above this level would be definitely a pretty bullish sign. If we do go to the lower time frames, I want to show you here the waves that we've had from yesterday's video. We were expecting a potential larger correction before having this next wave here to the upside. Now, there's several ways on counting this Elliott wave structure because a correction here is not guaranteed. However, it is more probable in my personal opinion after this massive run up that we've had for the last few days. Take a look at Elliott Wave Theory. We can take a look here at my preferred view, of course, going from the ultimate low level created on the 15th of June, round about $24,800. Clearly, this has been a one wave up to the upside, as you can see, and this a corrective move down, and then this a third wave, having five waves inside of the third wave, this a fourth wave, and now the fifth wave has been created or is in the creation still, okay? However, if we do take a look at the resistance zone, it does make sense that the end of the fifth wave should be here around about 27,200 range, give or take $100, $100 down or up, okay, with the volatility. It's very likely that the ending of this fifth wave is here. If we do take a look at this Elliott wave count, now, of course, after five waves to the upside, you would expect a three waves to the downside usually, okay, as an ABC kind of structure. And this is what we could be phasing here 
in the next coming hours and couple of days. This is something that we need to be aware of, all right? We've been trending here to the upside really nicely, pumping almost $2,000, all right? $2,200 actually, all right? So a cool off is very, very possible. Now, this would be my preferred scenario where we could be seeing a little bit of a cool off before having a major run to the upside. If we were to form this kind of structure, creating three waves to the downside, I would expect a third wave to happen in the next coming weeks, having here a higher low creation and then getting ready for a third wave, meaning that this has been the first wave up because this has been the bottom basically. If we move up to the upside here, create three waves to the downside, that will be looking very, very good for a potential bounce here at the weekly level or at the 50-618 Fibonacci retracement from the impulsive move here to the upside. So there's a lot of speculation on this potentially happening. Of course, this is my preferred scenario, right, where we should be seeing a massive three wave here to the upside in the coming weeks. We need to see how the price is going to develop, of course, with this possible correction. If it is going to create three waves to the downside, looking at the lower time frame, such as the one hourly 30 minute time frame, to see this kind of structure in the next couple of days, then this will be looking absolutely great, guys. I'm paying attention with the Legends Trading Community on Discord for this potential scenario, of course. Technical analysis and trading is not the same. We need to have very good risk management and we need to learn how to get into the best levels possible, of course. If you want those setups and those scenarios with good risk management, daily videos, okay, posted, you want to join the Legends Trading Community. The link is down below scrolling in the description. Now, this is my preferred scenario, okay? Now, the insane bullish case scenario would have been if this has been, okay, already waves to the upside and we are creating a kind of a flat ABC structure here, as you can see, being the second wave. However, this is not my preferred scenario as um, the ABC structure here would be uh, the second wave. And this to be a second wave, all right, the correction is very, very small. You'd want to see at least coming down to around about 50% Fibonacci or even the 618 range, all right, for that second wave. Even the 78, it is very possible, which is at $25,250. It's a possible for a second wave, as long as you create a higher low, all right, it is very, very possible. So the reason why I don't think this, this is the scenario, because we haven't even retraced to the 0.382 for this second wave. So I'm pointing out that my preferred scenario would be the first one that I've showed you, that the fifth wave has been created, and we are looking for a deeper correction. But it's possible, okay? It is definitely possible if this were to be the second wave down, guys, all right? Taking a look at edit wave theory from the pivot low. This has been five waves here to the upside. This has been the second wave, all right? Very, very small, not even hitting the 382. Uh, you, want, you would want at least the 382 to be hit for a second wave. However, in a massive bullish structure, you, you could say it's definitely possible. And this already is the creation of the third wave, meaning that we could see massive impulsive moves in the next coming days, guys, because we're already creating the first wave up here out of five waves inside of the third wave, which could be absolutely crazy. We need to be aware that this is a possibility, okay, guys? Now, I am definitely switching bullish right now. I've been extremely bearish for the last few weeks, as you know, talking about this being the ABC structure. We talked about the, the domed house, of course, as well. You know, looking for much lower levels, looking for that $25,000 range. Right now, we're forming a wedge scenario. There, it looks like that this ABC kind of structure could be finished at this range. And I do like the lower time frame price action, guys, where we have had pretty significant volume when we do take a look at the 15 minute chart, okay? We can see that these pumps right over here have been having some intense power to the upside, okay? Breaking here the lower time frame structure, okay? As you can see, the lower highs right there getting above these lower highs pretty nicely. So I would expect a higher low to be created in the next coming days and looking for much higher levels, okay? Now, that is the scenario that I'm looking for. There's the massive bullish one. 
and the normal bullish one okay, meaning that the fifth wave has been created and we're looking for an ABC kind of corrective move, okay? Now, of course, there are some trading opportunities on this ABC structure, or there is a massive opportunity if we were to get a successful breakout above the daily level. Getting a breakout above this daily level at $27,200, would mean that higher levels are going to be likely, okay? There's likely going to be higher levels as we are breaking above the lower high resistance trend line. We are breaking above the daily. So if we do get a significant breakout on the lower time frames with some pretty intense volume, it's going to be looking very, very nice, guys, for continuation to the upside. But what, what happens if we do not get a successful breakout from that daily level? Well, I'm looking here for a possible fake out, okay, of this high, even this high created on the 7th of June, hitting that daily level. If we do get that acceptance beneath the daily, not holding as support, then of course, I would expect a much larger corrective move, okay? We're just gonna have to see, all right, how the price develops because this could still be part of the fifth wave, something that we need to understand. People will be getting confused. People will be thinking that this is insanely bullish. And then of course, we could be still forming that fifth wave structure, right? Out of the first Elliott Wave count that I've showed you, okay? Very possible that we're still inside of the fifth wave structure. And we need to be aware that that fake out from this zone is possible. How to trade this fake out? We just need to get that acceptance back beneath the highs created yesterday, beneath the daily level. If we do get that acceptance, then this is going to be looking quite bearish, guys. And that is basically it. Not much more to be said in this daily update for Bitcoin. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.